it's on standby now, so it shouldn't be doing anything. It shouldn't start cooling until you turn the snowflake on. And um, if this is over three and a half degrees, it shouldn't, um, well, 3.7 it cuts it out. So it should all be off now, but the box is very wet. Um, I don't know if it show up, but that pin where the blue wire is there has gone green with corrosion. And the blue wire off the other one, darker blue, is all green. So I think the problem might be in there. I've got to look up on the diagram and see what them pins do. Right, it's so damp in there. It's picking up. Voltage just off of the. That's on the um, earth cable on the sleeve end. 17, no, 12 volts on, on that pin, which should be dead because that's the wash pin. 230 volts on there, that's the um, cooling signal. So that's where them solenoids are getting their power from, is that purple wire. Uh, that one next to it is the agitators, and those are the three agitator check wires to make sure they're working. That one there is powering. So, some sparks in. Um, I think we'll turn the power off and pull that plug out and have a look. Could be the plug or uh, even. It's very wet in the in the box. Well, look. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Um, damp, I think. I've took the boards out and they don't look um, uh, too bad. I don't think the plug's shorted out. Uh, it looks okay on, on the back of there. They did have a bit of green on them few pins there, which <coughs> plugs in there, which you can see looks quite corroded. So I think. It's probably shorting out in there, which is taking probably the 12 volt to power the board. It's shorting out to feed that relay, bringing it in. Um, central board itself, it's got damp. You can see it's got a bit on there, but I don't know, I've seen them a lot worse. Don't look too bad. You see, it's got a few cracks in the um, corner of the box, which is where the water's getting in. <coughs> so, uh, we'll give that a little bit of a clean up. Maybe put some silicon in the box in the corners, cover those cracks over. It looks okay in there, sometimes they, they just crack. I think it's the ammonia um, from the cow shit. Takes the plastic. We'll get that cleaned up and uh, see if it works. Right, we've got that powered up um, without the uh, logic board in there, and it's still um, bringing the uh, solenoids on. So it's not it's not a fault on that board or the connection. To, well, it could be the connection here to it. But there's something going on here, so... Yeah, I'll have to have a look at this, I think. I'll take that off. could do with knowing whether that relay's being powered up, really. Yeah, well, it's actually, we've got different fuses we've got. Um, wash, solenoids, 
um, agitators and that's the logic. So, uh, Getting power from the logic one. Uh, yeah, so it's not a it's not a mains fault. Maybe it's a sticky relay then. Um, because that, if I take this out. That, that one disconnects the uh, logic, so, you know, the power supply for the running of the relays and the 12 volt, and that transformer basically is all it powers. So, um, that would take the coil out for that. If it was just a short on one of these pins, um, it wouldn't do it uh, because the fuses are from the pins. This one is the power out for the uh, relay for the uh, solenoid. So that is the one that that relay switches. So let's have a something somewhere. Is telling that relay to switch. So it's either there's got to be a fault somewhere between um, it could be something on here. I wonder whether it's one of them cables because these were all green where they plugged in. I've cleaned it up, and they were all green down here as well. Hmm. Oh. Right, I've worked it out. That there is the negative side. And that one actually that'll be the negative anyway. And that one there. Positive side, and then we've got 12 volt feed to the coil. Um, for that relay, uh, pretty much it's got to be in here. It's on that harness, I think. There's nowhere else. three or the four but these are the older version these are versions two and two point two and we've got a version two point two B and one of them as part of the boards being different the backboard they've changed um, you had a socket on the power board and a ribbon cable off of the logic board this one's got a ribbon cable off the power board and a socket on the logic board. So they have swapped the way the cable goes, so you can't put the wrong board with the wrong front. Um, but I think that might be, I've probably the lid off of that. That might be the, where the short is, so let's see if we can clean that up and trim that a bit shorter and try it. Um, failing that, I don't know if that ends okay. Might be into a new box, um, and it's not even with them, you know, with these cracks, it's gone in there. It's going to get water in there again at some point, anyway. 
we found that plug here was uh, where the problem was. So um, I took that apart and soldered some wires on the back of the um, board. I couldn't get these to stick. I think they're stainless steel or something. The solder wouldn't take to them, so I put some copper ones on there, some crimped them together. So uh, we're just gonna. I've just tried out. Um, with that ball just floating loose and it was okay so I'm putting it back together properly and then we'll see what happens. Well, we've got a new um, control box to go on here. Uh, it's the old one's got water in it and you can see well you see the green where it's corroded um, on the plugs. Um, one of the little tricks I've learned for cleaning them out is if you get a bit of wire in your battery drill um, probably want to strip a bit more off than that really um, that one's cleaned up nicely, let's try the one below it there that one's quite dirty So easy one and that's shiny again, that's much better. So we'll clean all them pins up. Um, put the new box on and uh, see how it goes. We've got a new box on there, um, the new probe behind here. Just doing the put a new seal in the um, butterfly valve that stops the milk coming out. That's the old uh, old seal. That's a little butterfly. It's just a case of pushing that over there. 